It's completely reasonable that the NRA would want to know my stance on guns and everyone else, like the people that are anti-gun and people that are for guns. Um, I think the NRA started licking their chops when they heard me talk about California and that I believe that you should have be, be allowed to have a concealed firearm. Um, I think a state can put pretty serious restrictions on that. Like you could say, well, you have to already have a permit in your state and you have to call the county sheriff where you're going. Like I, I think that's something that someone could do. Um, but I don't believe you can ban me from having a firearm completely in California unless I'm law enforcement. Because um, it, it just it, that just doesn't make sense. Because not everyone can afford to hire a law enforcement bodyguard to carry a gun for them. Um, and some of us have real danger, very real danger. So um, I mentioned that I want to have this armored vehicle that can, can electrocute people that are trying to get in my car if I want. Um, but more than anything, it um, it's armored and it has armored tires and stuff like that, and it can go off-road and stuff like that. It's an escape vehicle, but I also said I wanted a primary firearm in there, which means I wanted an assault rifle. But what does that mean? That means that I want a, I want to be able to have a, have a rifle in a hidden compartment. And do I want an assault rifle? Of course. Would I accept mag magazine limits like we have in Colorado? We, we, it's a, our state says we can have 15 bullets in a magazine. Yes. Um, I, in the past, I said, that my stance is that if you have like a hundred guns, then your maximum amount of magazines should be a hundred magazines, assuming that every gun is a magazine gun. Um, not, not like if you have like hundred guns and half of them are revolvers, you can have hundred magazines. But um, for the most part, I think you should not be able to have three magazines per gun, especially if you're like, see that I'm out, like on the, uh, if I'm on the road, then I shouldn't have more than three magazines per gun. Um, but I, like I've said, uh, I believe that the maximum amount of magazines, like, okay, so you should have three magazines per gun until you have 10, 10 magazines. After 10 magazines, then you have one magazine per gun until you have a thousand guns. I don't really care. You can have as many guns as you want. You can be a gun collector. There's nothing wrong with that. But like, do I think that you should be able to have a machine gun? Um, I think you should have to register it. Like, like the stats kind of a state's rights thing. I'll... If I have a big ass ranch, honestly, I'm gonna have a mounted machine gun in a mountain somewhere, honestly. Like, I mean, why wouldn't I? If I'm if I'm filthy rich. I'm I, I know. Everyone's going, you're gonna you're for machine guns? I'm not for machine guns. I'm just saying the law apparently right now says that I can have a machine gun, but they don't even make machine guns, but most machine guns are mounted and I would only use it for like home defense on a ranch. Um but I definitely am not for portable machine guns ever. And, um, you know, the, the bump stock bump, that's fine to ban that. Um, I don't even know what it's called, but what I, what I'm talking about is, um, what does it mean to be a rival? Um, because an assault rifle is a rifle that looks cool that can have a lot of bullets in it. But if you limit the magazine capacity, then that's reasonable because, uh, say that I only have three magazines and I have, have 15 bullets per magazine, then I have 45 bullets. And that's just how many I can have. Um, I'm not really, I don't really think you ever need more than 50 bullets on you ever. Say that you're, you're, you're a guy that carries a gun like me. Uh, how many guns, how many bullets do I have on me right now? 15. Uh, cause I've got a, one backup magazine. Um, but normally when I'm in the forest, I have, I know, I'm sorry, I'm talking about this, but I, I have, I, I have like, um, about 25 bullets, a little bit less than that. All right, so I have 23 bullets. All right, so um, I shouldn't, I don't like telling people stuff like that, and that's why I want my secret vehicle, my, my escape vehicle to have secret things about it that people don't know about. All right, so I understand why people hate guns, especially people in California. Um, I also think that in California, you ha might have a robbery problem more than we do in Texas. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think that people fear people more in Texas. Um, but I also, I, I, I believe in balance. I think for the most part, the federal government should not impose rules on states, but I do think the federal government should tell California that you're not allowed to ban um, concealed firearms completely. Because if there's anything I keep hearing about is like a rapper whose bodyguard had a, had a concealed firearm that's in prison now. It's like, how, how is that okay? All right, so I don't know. I know it's complicated. Um, I personally want an assault rifle like in my car that's unloaded and I don't think it should be in my car. I think that there's, you can, there's, I, I think it, for the most part, the law should say it should be in the trunk or it should be, um, unreachable. Um, that's what a, a lot of the states say that you can't have a gun within reach while you're driving. 
because people get mad. Um, I don't know, but I, like, I, like I've said in the past, I have a gun. And when I went to the gun class, they told me that I can have an unlimited amount of magazines, unlimited amount of bullets, unlimited amount of guns on me. Like I can have like my whole waist full of guns legally. Uh, and, and that's what Texas says. Uh, I think that's crazy. Um, I, I really, I really do think we all got to take a step back and go, is 45 bullets really the, the maximum that we should have on us ever? Probably. I mean, who needs more than 50 bullets? For, 45 bullets is, is, is three Glock 19 magazines. Well, 46, if you have one in the chamber. And I think that's reasonable. Um, the great thing about me is I can, um, use common sense when it comes to guns, because I am uh, someone that has a has very, very serious concerns about security, and um, I don't want to die. So, all right, sorry I'm talking so much. Hope you have a good day, and uh, sorry that I didn't hire the NRA. You guys would make me look bad, really. Um, I, I'd rather uh, have like the ACLU, because I am more concerned about civil liberties than my right to have a gun.